Many organizations today need to redact sensitive information, whether it's credit card information or social security numbers, anything that's personal identifiable information. We're going to show you how to do that using the new and improved SciCapture 6.0. Let's begin. As you can see, there's a new interface. We're going to start by selecting our capture profile. We're going to do full redaction on the first pass. We're going to show you full redaction and partial redaction. We start by simulating a scan, so we're going to select our file. We're going to hit the big green Start Capture button here on the ribbon. We could also use it on the Quick Toolbar as well, Quick, quick Access Toolbar. We're now going to begin by importing those images. You can see here that we have a Social Security number in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to go ahead and do a full redaction on that in just a moment. As we jump from document to document, you can see they are different Social Security numbers. We're going to be looking for the pattern of that Social Security number, not a particular number at this point. The next step of the process is we're going to index that information, so we're auto-extracting or indexing the Social Security number, and then we're going to redact that. And as I said earlier, this is going to be a full redaction on the first pass. We're going to show you another example here in just a moment where we're going to do partial redaction. Let's go ahead and zoom in now. And as we jump from document to document, you can see the, the black box of the redaction moves around where the text is moving around. So it's very tight uh, redaction, which in this case was black, but could also be white or white with a black background. Now we're going to do a different uh, demonstration here. We're going to pick a different capture profile. In this case, we're going to import the very same documents, uh, but we're going to do a partial redaction, all but the last four digits. Easily configured. Uh, with the rule builder within uh, SciCapture 6.0. So now we've imported those images. You can zoom in so you can see again same documents, uh, same social security number. We'll move forward in the workflow process. So now we're going to once again auto index that social security information. Uh, that's going to be very important as we publish this data later. Uh, and then we're going to do the partial redaction. So we get our dials spinning here, and then as soon as that's done, we'll zoom in again. Okay, partial redaction is complete, so now let's zoom in so you can see all but the last four has been redacted. Again, as we jump from document to document, you can see all of them have been redacted at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out. I will share with you that typically when we publish the information, we call that migration, where we publish the documents to your document management or ECM software, enterprise content management software. Typically what will happen is we will publish the clean version, the original version with no redaction, the original image, as well as the main image is what we call it in our SciCapture software, which has the redactions. So it was one scan, redacted full or redacted partial, and then we would publish that out with the metadata, of course, and either you do uh, two different migrations, one with um, the clean image and then one with the redacted, into typically two different repositories. This concludes our recording. If you'd like to learn more about SciGen and all our capabilities, please contact us at sales at SciGen.com. Thank you.